Shabbat Shalom, Hebrew Fish and Fooey. Uh, we're out at uh, Knife and uh, Island. Uh, back, right in back of Fern Rock. You see the boss you saw just passed by there. Uh, what we're doing, we're, uh, we had the drone out. It's windy day, but we're out there anyway. Just to see what we can do. And as um, you know, I'm a little more comfortable I'm just going through the plane, but I'm looking through the, I, I can barely see the extra sun in my eye. I thought I could get some shade there in the generators. But as much shade as it seemed to be there, I still can't see the screen. Uh, it's a new, the new, uh, new tablet. It has an adapt, adaptive uh, screen, which once I finally uh, turned that on, I was able to see a little bit. But as I'm flying around, I had the same problem that I've, I've been having. I see everything is all washed out. None of the colors seem to reflect what I'm seeing. So, since I'm here at this time, I get a little more, uh, I have a little more time to uh, to look at, the, look at the settings. And I can see... Uh, you know, all the camera settings are here, like in a normal camera. Well, a lot of them, anyway. So I start messing with the settings. And uh, I was able to bring some color. Or should I say the proper color to uh, to the video. I'm going to show you uh, before. It happens on the fly. You know, all these settings, I'm sitting there. I just hit a little... They're not buttons. I'm actually touching the, the tablet screen. You know, selecting this or increasing something else. And as I started uh, playing with it, one setting, and it's obviously it's use it on the camera. Uh, it, would, it would add more color to what I'm doing. And I tried a lower setting, and it looks a little better. And I keep messing with them until I get something that looks appropriate uh, to what I'm seeing. So you can see the difference uh, between what was happening uh, a minute ago and what uh, what you can see now. Uh, it look a lot more realistic or representative of what I'm at. You know what's actually happening there in, uh, in the uh, in the field. You got the little guys out there uh, doing football practice. I kept the drone strictly away from them. Uh, uh, that's, that's the law, actually. You can't be flying over people. Plus, I've I seen a couple. I don't know, I've seen maybe one or two adults. I've seen maybe a mother, a mother sitting over there. And I just wanted to, you know, I, I flew around, but I, I stayed in my half or my quarter of the uh, of the field. That's a nice field right there, because uh, it's never. I, I've been there twice now. And it's been empty both times. Uh. It seems to be a real good feel once I get a little more hang, hanging what I'm doing. Because uh, I didn't go to, I couldn't go to so high today for fear of, of the wind. It was a tough wind out there. I didn't want, you know, any type of mishap. So I kept the drone under, you know, maybe 50 feet, uh, you know, no more than 100 feet. But on a calm day, I'll be back out there and I'll be able to get some, uh, I think I'll get some real, real nice shots from out there. And I think the lights come on at night too, but. Yes, it may. Shabbat Shalom. Hebrew Fish and Philly.